So now that you've heard the story of Tar Beach by Faith Ringgold, she's pictured here, and you've heard the story of Cassie Louise Lightfoot, who loved to fly, you're going to create your own. On your black piece of paper that you receive, please put your name on the back of the paper. Next, you're going to fold your paper in half. Um, we call this hot dog style. And you're going to use a white oil pastel to draw the George Washington Bridge on the top half of the paper. She was the youngest child. Her mother's youngest child. And her grandmother's grandchild. Whose mother had been enslaved. She was her mother's daughter. Her grandmother's granddaughter. And her mother's mother's mother taught her daughter how to quilt. Faith ring gold paints in colors. Colors bright and bold. Faith ring gold has a story to be told. Faith ring gold fashions fabric. Fabric in You can use metallic colored pencils, which we have in the colored pencil bins, to add some of the more fancy details to the George Washington Bridge, like the lights that hang on the cables that hang between the two bridges. Put that to the side and you're going to use um, two or three different sheets of colorful paper and you're going to draw the shapes for buildings. Now remember, buildings can be very simply shaped like triangles, rectangles, squares, that kind of thing, and you're going to be cutting them out. Now it's fine if you want to make these buildings look like something that you might see in Charlotte, like this one right here. Um, and basically any, any kind of building that will um, create a cityscape below your bridge. Once you have about six or seven buildings, go ahead and cut them out and you're going to glue them on the bottom half of your black paper. Next, you're going to use some colorful paper, either that as squares or rectangles, and you're going to glue those down as the windows for your buildings. You can also use um, oil pastels or crayons to make, um, just to draw out the windows and the details of the buildings and make them more interesting. So I have printed out templates of boys or girls and you can choose whichever one you'd like and I want you to use your crayons to um, decorate it, color it.
you're going to go ahead and cut out your template and then you can glue it in the sky. Um, and this resembles the image of Cassie and her brother flying over the city. Now flying is a metaphor for being free and finding freedom. So just remember that as you're creating this artwork. Um, one of the quotes by Faith Ringgold is, anyone can fly, all you need is somewhere to go that you can't get to any other way. The next thing you know, you're flying among the stars. <laughs>